Human emotions are powerful. They are so powerful that any one of them can have a dramatic effect on your life in a single day. However, make this careful note. Emotions are tricky. They can go either way on you. Emotions can build or destroy, weaken or strengthen, make or break. It all depends on how you use them. We call civilization the intelligent management of human emotion. That's it. The power given an intelligent direction and objective can accomplish spectacular things. The power, the feelings, those surges of heart and soul. What are they? What can they do? Well, here are some. Let me just quickly give you a list of four emotions that can change your life in one day. Emotions are powerful. Sometimes it doesn't take much to alter your whole life direction. Okay, here they are. Number one, disgust. Powerful emotion. Disgust says, I have had it. See, that could be the day. The day you can say, I've had it. And whether you've had it with something small or something major, the day you can say, I've had it, may not be the day it ends, but the day it begins. That's what I said when that little Girl Scout left my door when I'm 25. I give her the big lie, she leaves, I say, I don't want to live like this any more. I've had it with lying and being broke. Powerful day. The man's finally had it with mediocrity. He's had it with being a loser. He's finally had it with those awful sick feelings inside, knowing his wife is at the grocery store looking at two cans of beans, one mark 37 cents, one mark 39 cents, and the guy sick inside knows. His wife's gonna buy the 37 cent can and she doesn't even like the brand. Do you know why she's gonna buy the 37 cent can? To save two cents. The guy sick inside finally says, I've had it. Being on my knees in the dust looking for pennies. We're not living like this any more. Could be the day that turns your life around. The day you can say, I've had it. He walks into his closet and rips everything in it to shreds and says, I've worn this embarrassing stuff for the last time. And not only will I never wear it again, no one else <laughs> will ever wear it again. Come in an act that says, I've had it. Powerful. Here's the next one. Decision. And decision making is powerful. And it's emotional. That's those knots in the pit of your stomach, right? Waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, trying to decide. We sometimes call it inner civil war. What shall I do? Well, for progress, you must decide. The best advice I can give you came from a wealthy friend of mine who said, if it's easy, do it easy. If it's hard, do it hard. Just get it done. If you went home tonight and in the next few days cleaned up a whole list of decisions, that might furnish enough inspiration for the next 10 years. I found this out. Many times after you've decided, getting on with it is easier than deciding. Sometimes decision is the toughest part. Here's the next emotion, desire, wanting to bad enough. And I don't know how to tell you to want to. That's something you've got to come up with. There's two things I know about desire. Number one, it comes from inside, not outside. You don't send off for it. Number two, I know desire can be triggered by something. Who knows what it might be? Sometimes desire waits and sleeps for something to happen. Maybe it's a book. Maybe it's a song. Maybe it's a sermon. 
Maybe it's a lecture, a seminar. Maybe it's the conversation of a friend, a happening, an event. Who knows? The best I can, advice I can give you is what I give my staff. It goes like this. Welcome every human experience. You never know which one is going to turn it all on. Even the bad experiences. Sometimes from the bitterest experience comes the greatest awakening. So let down the barriers, take down the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. Here's the last one. This one's powerful. Resolve. Resolve says I will. Two of the most powerful words in the language. I will. Benjamin Disraeli once said, nothing can resist a human will that will stake even its existence on the extent of its purpose. Shortly put, I'll do it or die. See, that's powerful. That could be the day that turns your life around. The world has a strange way of stepping aside when somebody says, I'll do it or die. The man says, I will climb the mountain. They've told me it's too high, it's too far. It's too steep, it's too rocky, it's too difficult. But it's my mountain. I will climb it. Pretty soon you will see me waving from the top or dead on the side because I'm not coming back. Hey, that's powerful. Time and fate and circumstance call a hasty conference. And they all agree. We might as well let John have it. He says he's going to get it or die. Wow, that's it. Resolve. The best definition of resolve I ever heard was from a junior high girl in Foster City, California. I'm talking to the junior high kids, and I asked the question, who can tell me what resolve means? I got several hands, some were pretty good, but the last one was the best. She said, I think resolve means promising yourself you will never give up. I said, that's it. Best I've heard. Promise yourself, you will never give up. I asked the kids, how long should a baby try to learn how to walk? How long would you give the average baby before you shut him off? You say, that's crazy. Any mother in the world would say, my baby is going to keep trying until it learns how to walk. No wonder almost everyone walks. What a magic formula, the until formula. Good question. How long are you going to work to make your dreams of wealth and happiness come true? I suggest the until formula. It's the best. Emotions, disgust, decision, desire, resolve. Why postpone your better future any longer? Get at it today. Get some new books, make a new plan, set a new goal. Ask some new questions, lock on to a new resolve, make a new effort and do it all now. So if I had a word with you tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, I think my personal advice to you would be, this year, 1981, reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there, waiting to be utilized. And then change anything for you you want to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice. If you don't like your present address, change it. You're not a tree. What could you make yourself do starting tomorrow that would change it all? No, tell it. Now, see, that's exciting. On any given day, you can massively change the direction of your life. Murder is a clear example that any one person on any given day can forever alter the course of their life. It just happens to be a negative act. But just as sure as you can commit a negative act, you can also commit a positive act and forever alter your life whenever you wish. Now that's exciting. 
and whatever that act might be that changes your life, the guy finally takes a shotgun to his car and blows out every window, destroys every tire, puts a hundred rounds in this shabby old thing. And he says, I have driven this embarrassing thing for the last time. <laughs> and not only will I never drive it again, nobody else will ever drive it again. <laughs> and he lets that shuddering thing stand there for a while as a monument to the day he said, today my life changes. Now who can do that? Anybody. When can you do it? Whatever day you pick.
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Keep the sky on your mind 